He has to water his... what? Better look for him, I guess. in the middle of my daily duties. Mind getting out of my way? Do all custodians water the plants here? <laughs> of course! Who else? I have to take care of my friends. Friends? Sure! This tree here is a good friend of mine. Wait, what? This tree is a Sproutling? Oh, I guess you wouldn't know. When a Sproutling goes to sleep for a long time, we tend to turn into trees. Every four years, just in time for the pilgrimage, one of my hibernating friends grows the most beautiful flowers. The alluring fragrance beckons the fairy to the burrow, and that lucky Sproutling gets to be the own. Only the most vibrant of Sproutlings can blossom, making them the perfect candidates for the alm of wood. Our patron elemental wants lush foliage on all of her envoys. But when are the buds meant to bloom? Usually the trees are already in bloom by the time the convoy of alms arrives. But not this year. There's probably no hope for the burl after all. I suppose we all gotta go sometime. Whoa, hold on. No need to jump straight to utter destruction. Nope. I think this is it for us. No flowers, no fairy, no future. Anyway, I'm sure you've all got stuff to do. Some bandit you're tailing or whatever. He's really gonna give up on his homeland? Just like that? <laughs> <laughs> Jule seems really knowledgeable about the pilgrimage. There's a lot more I want to ask him. about my work. There's a lot we don't know about all this. I was hoping for answers. A chat would kill time better than my usual rounds. As you wish. All Sproutlings remain dormant for long periods with one exception. We alternate who looks after the rest of us while we sleep. As the custodian, I water my sleeping friends each and every day. I woke up four years ago just as the last pilgrimage was coming through the burrow. So for four years, you've been watering these guys waiting for them to bloom? All by yourself? Of course. Though, I guess it's not going to matter much anymore if there's no arm. Might as well hang up my watering can. You can't be out of options already. Have you talked with your patron elemental? Maybe she can help. <laughs> What a silly thing to say. Alms are appointed, not requested. There's nothing I can do about this. But how do you know if you don't try? I went directly to Sylphid and asked to be made the alm. You don't want this place to be destroyed, right? Then do something, anything. Go ask the Elemental of Wood to hurry it up. You've got to be joking. She's joking, right? Karina's telling the truth. She went out and found the Elemental of Wind in order to request her position as the Alm. But... but... that 
that's going against the hand of fate. Perhaps mortals like yourself try to defy destiny, but that's not how we do things up here. Sproutlings take what life gives us, and we're grateful for it. I don't know how many thousands of years ago it was, but we watched your world teeter on the edge of destruction. All the while, we waited, tending the seeds as we've always done. Whatever hand fate deals us is our burden to bear. How egotistical to assume you know better than the goddess herself. Egotistical? That's rich coming from a stubborn weed like him. He's not wrong to stick to his principles. He just needs some perspective. <sighs> Is following the will of the world really worth accepting the destruction of all you hold dear? Hmm. Not that the workings of the Hand of Fate aren't important, but Karina's got a good point too. I don't want Jule to give up hope. You're a pushy bunch, you know that? <laughs> what is it this time? You're the one who ran off. We weren't done with our conversation. Actually, I didn't have anything else to say to you folks. I've said my piece. No need to get worked up about it. I'll tell you what. If an alm of wood is chosen, you'll be the first to know. So go ahead and look around for that cork stone, or, or what have you. It's core stone, not cork stone. And that's our friend Soul you're talking about, bub. Hina, the alm of fire, had her core stone stolen by Orin. If we don't get that piece of her back, then Tiania is in danger. Ferdia still has a chance. So use it! How can you stand around and throw your hands up like none of this is in your control? Don't you care what happens to the burrow? Think of your dormant friends. Don't you want to save them? Isn't that worth asking to become the alm of wood yourself? Look, pal, I'm not going to take much more of your sass. You think I'm not worried about the fate of my home? There should be blooms by now. It's not supposed to be like this. Without flowers, the fairy won't come. Without the fairy, us sproutlings lose our purpose. No lives to preserve, it'd be the end of everything. Maybe, maybe this is my fault. I could have overwatered the burrow or pruned something I wasn't supposed to. That worry is always on my mind. Jule. Here's a thought, Jule. We could all search for the reason the flowers aren't blooming. Find that Aaron guy who stole from you? You said so yourself. No one has come through the burrow but us. We trust you to know what's going on in your home. Besides, I'm the Soul Guard. It's my duty to find the Alm and protect them from harm. Look, I appreciate the thought, but there's no cure for the burrow. It's pointless. Oh, honestly. Stop quitting before you start, kid. Come on, folks. We've got a job to do. I think this place doesn't get enough sunlight. That's what. The landscape in Verdius hasn't changed in millennia. They would have had problems long before now if it was the sun. Maybe Gnome's powers are too weak to reach here? It is true that Elusia is a tad far from other terrain. The solution may be that the sustenance given to the sprouts is being sucked dry. Hmm... That's a lot of leads to eliminate. Let's take a look around the area first. Hmm... The reason... <gasps> Wait! Could it be? Where'd Jule get off to? Well, while we wait for him, we can try to figure out the cause of all this. The whole area is covered in plants. No one can get through all this. Hmm. Maybe that's for the best. We don't want Orin sneaking past us. Unless he's the one that blocked it off? Val, I surrender. I don't know anything about growing plants. This foray is fascinating. 
practically none of this flora was included in the almanacs of my adolescence. There's no getting around it. We have to ask the Elemental of Wood for help. Great idea! If the Elemental doesn't know what's wrong, no one will. Aww, I wanted to be the one to rub it in Julie's face when we found the answer. Sorry to disappoint you, Karina, but we haven't got the time to waste on fumbling around in the undergrowth. Dryad is the Elemental of Wood and well-versed of these wilds. But who can say where we may find her? Would that I knew. At times like these, it's best to ask the locals. Ugh, great. Gotta bother Julie again. Just what I need. Huh? It can't be. Surprise! How did you get here? Don't you know there's a big old stock that reaches all the way up here? My sisters and I didn't want to waste this once in four years opportunity, so we climbed up. We figured now is the perfect chance to gather exotic ingredients like Verdius nectar for flavorings and potions. Besides, this place has everything! Ancient forests, dangerous pilgrimages, mysterious Gaian explorers! What's not to like? Sounds like you three have a full itinerary. Wait a minute. Did you say Gaian Explorers? Where did you see one of those? Oh, there was a dashing young adventurer of that description over by the tree. We saw him ahead of us. We did lose track of him, though. Had to focus on keeping our footing and all. <sighs> Oren's on his way. Did you see a sproutling around here? Short, green... Leafy? Mm, nope. But I sure would love to meet a sproutling in the flesh. Uh, bark? <laughs> ah, what was that? A terrifying cry, that's what! It came from the direction of Milo's woods. <gasps> Someone might be in trouble! Could be Jule, or even Orin. Let's check it out. Oh, before Mew go, do you need to stock up on anything? Now's your chance! Anything you want, for a price. Grab the goods you need to save your friend. Don't get stingy now. Bye, bye, bye! They're the spitting image of father in miniature. That cry was coming from Milos. We have to check it out. Be sure to talk to my merchant sisters if you need to...
messed up.